to the royal house. Since the days when the prince was only a child, I have seen things and I know one thing, that it never ends well to any maid who is so ambitious to dream about becoming a, a queen. Hmm. I think you should ask her directly. She is slow and not very good with English. Well, <clears throat> I will ask her a question because I am impatient and curious. So, Lusa, what is going on between you and the prince? Nothing go on. I does not do anything. What I do? Firstly, it was Prince Ramon that was madly in love with you. Mm. Now is the prince of our kingdom. Hmm? He even instructed the chief maid not to give you work too tedious for you. And you stand here to tell her there's nothing going on between both of you. Mm. Oh, please. Nothing go on. Nothing go on. It is just prince that is good man that take care of poor girl. Nothing go on. Anyway, all of you listening and listening good. The prince is like a son to me. I watched him grow like this and I take care of him. And he is never one who worry about mess or even take them to sleep on his bed. But one thing I'm sure of, there is something going on between both of you. But my worry is this. The royal household and Midred will never stand still to cheer you up. What she's trying to say is, your love with the prince is love impossible. Impossible. It can never, never happen. Um, big madam, I finish talk. I go, I go chamber. I finish talk. talk. Go. Go where? See her. You can do she Shut your mouth. Go, she. go your places. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Daughter, where are you? Servant? Well, wife? Where? Servant clothes? Eh? Why? We were told that your husband is the next king of this kingdom. And you are the next queen of this kingdom. Then where are you wearing servant clothes? Why are you wearing servant clothes? Wife, oh, sweep, sweep, wife. I hide, sweep. I sweep. You hide what? Hey. Zuzan, Zuzan. You hide what? My my in-laws. Ah. Um, please come with me. I I, I can explain. Okay. Uh, uh, just, uh, why are we going there? No 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 no. Did I hear you say husband? House? How? Where? We are not confused in any way. I am the most educated person in my village. And I speak for them. Your son visited our village and he took advantage of our daughter here. The punishment for such misdemeanor is death or the offender will be forced to marry the person he had defiled. So in order not to die, he chose to marry our daughter. That was what happened. What is going on? Um, Oga, I mean Elder. I know my son. The prince cannot do something dishonorable like that. But he did. He's a decent and noble young man. 
I believe there's a huge misunderstanding here. Oh, but I still, your daughter lied to you all in order to trap a young stranger into marriage. Mm -mm. No, Queen. I does not lie, lie. Yes. But also, that does not talk how the thing happened. Okay? Okay, I run away from house. I run. I go to where I will see roof. And it rains. So the prince also come to the roof because of rain. And we stay. Later, they come. They see two of us. They say that we do what man and woman does when they close door. But did you do it? We does not do anything. So what are you talking about? And they, they brings knife. They brings gun, everything, and makes him to marry him. What? They threaten my son's life? This will never hold. This is a charade, as far as I'm concerned. And it can never be. This is null and void. I am a king. And things like this doesn't happen before me. You cannot reject what the gods have accepted and blessed. You are the king. No, no one is doubting it. But you are not the gods. Listen to me. The king is a servant of the gods. Though they are invisible, but they command the affairs of mankind through kings. A king world is another. He cannot genuflate the conscience of my son and force him to go through the lines of your tradition. As a king, I proceed over my son's marriage as an heir. It is a taboo for the prince of Salusha to have an unroyal marriage. Whatever that brought you here is already kissing the sound. Excuse me? You threatened my son's life? Ah! Oh, Mildred. Oh, Mildred. Are you okay? Chief Maid! Your Majesty. This idiot! Henceforth! Is no longer a maid in this palace. She is not even a guest. So she should not be allowed to go near any member of my family or any royal. She should be considered and regarded as an enemy to the royal house. My queen, I will do as you orders. To lose are you a poison? Who has corrupted everything around you? You have taken the peace of this royal house. Me, as a queen, I've always known there's something evil, something cynical about you. Wicked idiot. Queen, sorry. Sorry. I does not know what happened to me. Now, I, I, I suffer forced marriage again. Really? <laughs> you were not the one that was threatened to kill. Yet you made your decision. You considered marrying my son a suffering. I will show you what suffering is all about. Thank the gods my husband has said, my son will not marry you, neither will you be the queen of this kingdom. Go get me her rickety bags. Those are my silly things. Let me send her out of this palace. So you are leaving now. I you, go. No, come and stay on my head. Get out from here. Your Majesty, <laughs> Midred has woken up. Are you serious? Yes, she's in a very bad state of mind. I'll go and see her. But the physician says she will be fit. I'll go and see her. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. you son of the kingdom, you are resisting my orders. You are the king of your community, and I am the leader of my own community. You are the king of your kingdom. But you cannot and you don't have the right to pretend over my kingdom, which I am the leader. You people threatened my son's life. I consider that Salusa saved my life with her orthodox medicine. 
But if you keep insisting on this marriage, I will fight for war. You think we are afraid of war? We are not afraid of war. In our tradition, a girl marries only once. And once she is married with a spouse, no one suppresses it because we hold marriage as sacred. This marriage has been done between your son and our daughter. And nobody will separate it because the body, the two bodies have come together to become one. And our tradition recognizes it to be so. You cannot separate it. I cannot separate it. I will do that. You cannot. I will separate it. I do not acknowledge your gods. As a king, my son is bound by duty to marry whoever I want him to marry. How many warriors do you have? I am sure not as much as I have. At this point, I am forced to brag about the strength and powers of my warriors. I have kings from other kingdoms in alliance that are ready to release their warriors to fight for me if war is an option. Then I am asking you, is the life of that one girl worth the millions of lives that will be lost as a cause of this battle? I am asking you. Hey, mind you, war is not fought in a sitting room. When the time comes, we shall know the stronger kingdom. I am sure you do not understand what I am talking about. I understand you very, very well. But I have made my point. War is not fought in a sitting room. When the time comes, we know the kingdom. That is superior. I am sure you don't understand what I mean. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. What you, King, talk? It is war, or we walk out of the marriage. I does not want war. I does not want people die, die, war, war, killing, killing, killing because I marriage. Please, I leave everything. Daughter. No marriage here, no marriage again. Hmm. I stay. Eh? No marriage here, no marriage again. I stay, only me, till I die. No war. My daughter, I thank you. I salute you for your selflessness. This kingdom has turned their back on a rare gem like you. One day they are going to regret all that they have done. Two of you should get ready. First thing tomorrow morning, we're out of here. We go. Yes. Tomorrow, we, we go. go. Zoja, Zoja, Zoja. My daughter. <laughs> I go. Tomorrow, I leave, I go. Very earliest, I go. I does not stay here again. Where are you going when this is your home? King refuse. King say no marriage. King scatter marriage. King say anybody try marriage, bring problem. What I stay for, I go. Does my love mean anything to you? Huh? Do I mean anything to you? Why are you thinking about everyone else but me? Now let me tell you, a wife does not live without a husband. You stay because future you become king. You cannot leave your people go. And you don't want this marriage. Why you beg? Why you beg I stay? Because I'm in love with you. Who is she? Who is she? 
I think the gods blessed me the day I was forced to marry you. Shalza, I cannot live without you. If you insist on going, I will go with you. Are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> serious? Why can't she be my wife? Because the tradition has been there for ages. We can't change it overnight. It took a king to make that tradition. It will take another to change it. Father, I may be a king, but to rule, I was hoping you would be the king that would change that discriminatory tradition and allow love reign in your kingdom, irrespective of class and status. Have you lost it? What has come over you, Michael? What do you mean, I may be king? Are you considering to abandon the, 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 the throne? That will depend on what his majesty's decision will be. How do I say this to you? That Seleucia can only be married once. She cannot marry another man and will live her entire life without a husband. She will be tortured, abused and mocked because of a tradition and law. That forces a girl into marriage with a stranger just because she shared her roof unknowingly with him. And why do you worry if she stays alone forever? If that is her fate, do you think you can fight it? That cannot be her fate when she's married to me. <laughs> Your Majesty, marriage is a thing of the heart and agreement. I agreed and exchange vows with Seleucia. The gods are accepted. So why fight against him? Did you hear that? He is threatening to abandon the throne of my fathers because I've refused to make change of the sacred riddle of Chalucha Ghetto. What does this throne and the people of Chalucha mean to you? I'm asking you. If my well-being means anything to his majesty, he will reconsider my request or I will leave everything and live as a common man with my wife. Mikey wouldn't dare. Look at my face. I am the tyrant that will come after you. Stupid. Don't dare me, Mikey. If, if you say, listen to me, if you say any more word here, you'll be responsible for what will happen Father, to you. Father, I will give it all up for my wife. Majesty. Excuse me, Mike? Is it crazy? Is that you? I am going to take it hard with it. Suicide, 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 Cannot be the reason man treats another woman bad. I go. This man standing here has made a decision. I am in love with you. And my throne is not complete without you. So, do not push me thus far with this threat of foolishness. Return to your duty as a prince and the heir to the throne. Your Majesty, kill me if you must. Because if my wife leaves, I leave. Only death can stop me. But if you know you're not going to kill me, then nothing can stop me. Mm -hmm. My Majesty, just let him be. Your Majesty, 
Let the girl stay. You don't have to make her a queen. But let her stay. Mother. Can you come down? So that we don't lose our son. He is not just our son. He is the heir apparent to the throne. Let go of your anger and pride. And consider this. A man who is in love is blind. He's deaf. And he's dumb. Right now, this man standing here is handicapped and physically challenged because of love. Let him. I beg you. Well, the girl stays, but my stand of this marriage remains the same. I retire to my room. Mother, mm -hmm. there is nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. I, her husband, is here to protect her. Mm -hmm. I promise you she's not going to work as a maid mm -hmm. and I will give her all the respect she deserves. Mm -hmm. Son, I'm sorry the way we treated you. No man, especially not a future king, we accept our daughter. You have a good heart. And may the gods make you succeed. Thank you. Mouthpiece of Budubu Kingdom. Love holds no grudges. I love your daughter so much. I will fight for her dignity and rights. I will make her queen and see to it that she rules beside me. Sulusa suffered. Hey! She suffered. Oh, hmm? But now, the gods give her enjoyment. Hmm? Make her enjoyment, please, eh? Kia. Hmm? Kia. Uh, mother, there's nothing to worry about. I will take care of her. Here. This is for you. Huh? 500,000 naira and some jewelries. <gasps> oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your Majesty, I am sorry. I will not be wrong to punish the, the prince for rebelling against you before your subjects. Uh, when you already looked uh, scared and uh, I saw tears gathering in your eyes, the moment I, uh, I had to melt down. I fear for our son. He is our only child. How can we manage without a son at this our age? He is the heir apparent to the throne. Your Majesty, in your infinite wisdom, I know you. You put this kingdom their interests first before every other thing. Thank you for restoring peace and order. What are you thinking? Your Majesty. I know, Your Majesty, your infinite wisdom. I know you want to break the royal engagement before the Council of Elders. And chiefs, 
so that we don't lose our son totally. So that he doesn't consider abandoning his position as the prince, as the next queen of this kingdom. Even if I break the royal engagement and make our son a king, a king needs a queen. Are you saying I should uh, bless the maid? Mildred, what are you doing here? Your Highness? <laughs> Nothing really, I just um, came to share a drink with you, my friend. Yes, you heard me. Just friends and not um, friends, okay? Um, Your Highness, listen. I know that you are in love with Seleuza, right? And you see her as your wife already. Sincerely, I can't fight law. I can't fight your heart. Before I, I, I fight self, I will have lost. <laughs> so, you know. Wow. Well, um, I just want to say um, you did not deserve what happened to you. I, I'm sorry I could not summon the courage to tell you. <laughs> I kept you engaged knowing I cannot marry you. Hey, come on, your highness. Don't be too hard on yourself. Why? <laughs> See, we all are victims of circumstances, right? So we should not blame ourselves too much for anything. Life is not fair. <laughs> Wait, is this, is this Mildred talking right now? Of course. Is there somebody else here? It's Mildred. I cannot believe you can be big hearted like this. Ah, oh, I can be anything. <laughs> Your Highness, please. It's, 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 it's nothing, sincerely. I can't be anything, yeah. So, if you know that we can still be friends, let us share a drink together. Just friends, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so, I'm gonna just pop this wine right before you and then we cheers too. You really Friend. surprised me. Aha! Ha. I'm full of surprises. I'm mid red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stay here. Mm -hmm. I hope the alcohol is not too much. No, it's not uh, at all. I think you have to turn it the other way. Oh, really? Yeah. You see? Okay. Go off. Stay here. Aha! 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 I feel I learned well from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. So it's off finally. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. So I pour for myself too. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's it. So, so what are we choosing to? We're choosing to good friendship. Close friendship. <laughs> In a cackles, cackles. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very tasty. Love it. It's nice. I, I know like what it. you like. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> It's good, it's really good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I know you love it. Your <laughs> highness? Oh, it's very strong. Uh, no, no, it's not alcohol. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, Is it okay? Mm. You sure? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can see you love it, uh -huh. Your Highness. <laughs> I... You okay? I don't know, I'm just... I'm kind of sleepy. 
Maybe you're tired, right? Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. oh. Majesty, the prince took advantage of me. What? What? I, my mother. Don't murder me. Just stop. Shut your mouth. You threw a fit of not wanting to marry Mildred. You had to sleep with her. Took advantage of her. That is an abomination. That is heinous. So, so wait, you're just. You say we had sex? No, 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 no. You betrayed her. We made love, Your Highness. We made love? Yes, I, I, you, you, Mother, you, I don't remember. The very first time your father ha had sex with me, he didn't remember. Like father, like son. Like son, like father. I don't remember what she's saying. It's something. Your Highness, he, Your Majesty, he wasn't saying that he loves me so much and then that he has been on, under a spell of this wife. What? <laughs> Are you, are you not angry? You're not angry seeing me in this compromising position with, with her? I do something. Okay. Something for something. Nothing for nothing. You talk. I trust. I get you to lie. Lie. Be ashamed of yourself. They said lie, lie. Mother, mother, I, did, I did not do anything. I promise you. Why, 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 why are you doing this? Doing what? I thought you said you wanted us to be friends. And then you took advantage. You are evil. How? Mother, she's evil. It is that you evil. Evil. Get out of my room. Evil. We we'll use us. You. Get out. Get out of here. Stay where. Get, get dressed. Stay where. Get, get out. Get out of my room. Nonsense. Get out. I don't want to marry her yet. You enjoyed it. I did not enjoy it. Mother, I did not do anything. I it has come to my knowledge that you slept with Midwell last night. This has complicated the breaking of the royal engagement, as it were. Um, I, I don't remember anything uh, about last night. Really? That you did it? Mother, the only thing I remember is Mildred here coming to my room and we had a friendly toast and accepting that I am in love with Seleucia here. Anything after that, I don't remember. She's the only one that remembers. But you did it. The bottom line is that you did something with her, right? So, let me tell you something. The storm that characterized our decision between you and Midred died away last night. Our decision was only a tempest in the teapot. She came here a virgin. If we must send her back to her parents, she must go as a virgin. Simple. She told us that you slept with her last night. You have left me with no option but to ask you to marry her. That's my word. Your Majesty, um, I cannot be punished for something I don't remember. Moreover, I am, I am, mother, I am already married to Solusa here. I, I cannot marry Mildred. Excuse me. Is, is, is a marriage with a maid consummated? Yes. I, I, as we speak, I, I believe she has my baby inside of her. I took that drink from you because I trusted you. I never knew you would take advantage of that trust and use my body for your deceitful and despicable act. How could you? 
Your Highness? How? How can you just sign me up for 10 months and wake up one day to say you're done with the engagement? That is wickedness, Your Highness. Do you know how degrading that is? People now say that you're leaving me for a maid. Just a maid. I tend to walk around the kingdom bearing my head in shame. You acknowledged that we are both victims of circumstances. So why are you being vengeful? Because we all are victims, but the other person tends to be happy. This victimization favors one person while the other person is soft. Tell the king to call off the wedding. I know you drugged me and took advantage of my body. Your Highness, such accusations grave one adapt. Do you have proof? I don't. But we cannot make things messier than it already is. Walk away, Mildred. And I hope you find happiness. Because I have found mine. Come on, Your Highness. My happiness is with you. Being your wife, ruling as the queen of this kingdom, is my happiness. And where can I find this happiness? This palace, of course. Brace up, your highness. I'm not going anywhere. You know why? Because this is home, your highness. No one sees what I see. They don't know what she has. She's the girl of my dreams Ooh, no matter what I will make her mine She's the girl I She's the girl I want make her mine Just because the prince is temporarily insane thinking he's in love with you does not give you the right to walk up to me in my lonely time to disturb me, are you mad? I thank God, Prince talk, I does not ask question, I believe. Now I ask, why you do what you do? Because the drink, the tea you give Prince, I check, I test. Now I see you put one medicine, we call Mende Mende. When the man that you take, he kill you small inside, you take, he kill you small inside, you sleep, you die. We call sleep and die. Why you do? Why you do? Talks, why you do? <laughs> it's something wrong with you. Such grave accusations? How can you prove it? I prove! Because I keep small. Yes, I see up, you remain, I keep. I take to king and I open your anus. <laughs> Please, I'm quite sorry. Allow me to laugh a little. It's been a long time I actually had such a laugh. Are you serious right now? You want to go to who? The king. And do what? Talk gibberish? And do you think he's going to listen to you? I ask you. The sight of you disgust the king already. So do you think he will, he will just see you as someone trying to come discredit me for being the intending queen of this kingdom? So please, shoot, get up. Okay, now you smart. Now you think you smart. I talk to king, king does not believe. You think you smart, no problem. I does not talk to king, but I won. I won. I won. Because I, I cannot know you like man, you want to marry man, you want to kill man. You kill man who you marry. 
You try put that again, I, I kill. You try, I kill. I does not need king. I kill you myself. You look worse. Your Majesty, we declared that the princess to marry Mildred. When you and I know that he considers Lucy as his first wife, is he going to marry her again as regards to royal rights and traditions? I do not know what to make of that, mate. But I'm hopeful that. Uh, her grip over her son will lose at the end. For Mildred to share a bed with the prince by something we do not know. Your Majesty, what if Mildred skimmed her way into the prince's bed? Because the hate I saw on his face does not show a man that has feelings for a woman. Are you saying that Mildred must have done something for us to make our son marry her? Your Majesty, I don't have any proof. But my, my hunch tells me so. But what worries me the most is are we going to have two queens in this palace? One that is approved by His Majesty the King and one that is loved by His Highness the Prince. There is only one true queen ruling beside the king. Your Majesty, you are going to find answers and solutions to this problem before there is anarchy. Is that your prayer? Father, I was told you were in a long meeting with the Council of Chiefs. I was. It wasn't an easy road trying to convince them on the long-standing tradition on noble-to-noble -noble marriage to be amended. But at the end, I succeeded. I know His Majesty and His infinite mercy will be able to convince and persuade them. <laughs> I won't say that we are convinced and uh, persuaded. I would say they pretended to be a compromise. You know, it's dangerous to argue with a king who is in possession of the last world. Thank you. Thank you for doing this for me. You have made me the happiest son alive. So, we will proceed with a proper wedding. Sure. The one that does not involve cohesion or threat between you and Seleucia, but on one condition. What condition, Father? You will get married to Mildred. Keep her as your queen ruling beside you for political purposes. And keep Seleucia as your true love. Father, you are asking me to do something you never did. Would you marry another woman beside Mother? Why would I? I love your mother. She's all access love. She understands the politics of the palace. Your love with Seleucia is an embarrassment. She does not know how to speak. Neither does she understand the politics of the palace or its etiquette. I will not accept this condition, Father. I will make Seleucia fit for all purposes and make her my queen. And she will rule beside me. Your Majesty. Your Highness, you look so thin. I know something bothers you. What is it? You know me too well. I want you to tell me 
if my decision of a life partner or queen is wrong. As someone who considers you her son, I am glad you have decided to choose the path of love and happiness. I know too well that you can never marry to regret. And I'm happy you've, you found love. Solusa is a selfless and purest heart. She has this selfless and purest heart. And I know she will become a very good queen someday. Yes. Which is why I have come to you for this favor. Consider it a favor from a son to a mother and not from a prince or a future king. Sulusa has to know everything about royal politics, royalty, and rules as a queen. It doesn't matter if she finds it rigorous, but push her, kick her until she is considered fit for the position of a queen. Can you do your son this favor? I cannot tell you no, my child. I will help you train her. Especially, I will make the whole world, everyone, to know that she is chosen by the gods, ruling by your side. Thank you. But please, keep this between us. Son, you don't have a problem. Okay. It's a promise. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome, sir. Your Majesties, isn't she beautiful? She's gorgeous. She's a beehive of beauty. <laughs> well, um, kings don't apologize. However, whatever I must have done to you in the past is coming from protecting our tradition and what the king thinks best. Thank you very much for loving our son and looking after his well-being. Since you came into the palace, we have experienced a lot of joy and happiness. Thank you, King. Um, I'd like to say that I appreciate everything, the acceptance, the love, your unconditional love, and your motherly care. Thank you so much, Queen. Silusa, thank you for uncovering all the wicked herbs Nidred has been preparing. And thank you for calling the attention of the royal physician to it. Thank you for giving him the tea, the miracle tea that cleansed him from every side effect. Thank you so much. I am sorry for everything. Can I call you my daughter now? You are my mother and my queen. Ow! <laughs> Did you observe? She now speaks well. What is surprise? What's going on? He yes. got me a tutor. Mm -hmm. I've been training for some months now. Yeah. on how to make a proper sentence mm -hmm. and I'm glad I have improved drastically in my spoken words all thanks to my handsome husband oh, my she's so intelligent <laughs> oh, thank god they didn't give up on her no <laughs> no I can't do that uh, no leave that for my pleasure mm -hmm. ah. sure. the moment we have been waiting for <laughs> It shall be well with you. He said. As you are my successor, you shall have successors. He said. You will prosper in all your endeavors. He said. You will increase. <laughs>
Kingdom blessed with riches. Oh, yeah. 